laser weapon is a laser pointer, but about a million times more powerful. Slated for 2025 deployment, speculation swirls around the potential deployment of Israel's iron beam in response to Hamas's deadly attack. This one is uh, using electricity created, uh, generated by a generator and turn it uh, into a concentrated beam of light. A beam of light containing enough energy to power a small neighborhood, said Dr. Uzi Rubin, former director of Israel's missile defense. He said it latches and incinerates a projectile in seconds. Anything from unmanned aerial vehicles to a mortar rocket or a drone. The enormous laser sits on top of a large swivel. It communicates with a command and surveillance system center to deploy a laser when an object is in range. In theory, less than approximately five miles. The laser, if you could see 20 targets are coming in, you can kill them only one by one. And it depends where the rockets are, how fast they are, and how long it takes you to kill a rocket. And most probably, many of the rockets will pass through. So the leakage rate is higher, which is a slower way. So it cannot replace the level of technology of today. While the iron beam can't take as many targets on at once, such as the Iron Dome, it is more cost effective. What I think is doing now, uh, as I understand, is taking the experimental system that was tested and tying it up to the national defense system. I mean, what they tested uh, in uh, Last match was just the laser. Now you have to lock it up, to tie it up to the radar. You can accelerate the development by several years by just giving it some experience, a real battlefield experience. Elizabeth, Dr. Rubin said that this laser technology is really just an evolution in the war that we have been witnessing. And he said in our lifetime, we could possibly see lasers more powerful and stronger than the ones that we're seeing now.